welcome to Florian Models Kit Review Time. Today we're looking at Eddard's Brazin set. This is the uh, BF109G6 engine with the gun deck uh, as an aftermarket in resin. Now recently, if you've been following us here on Florian Models, we're working on a 132nd uh, FW190 and we've been using a said resin set in the bigger scale. So we got down here one of the beautifully cast engines. Uh, we've got the full cockpit set. To be honest, we have got also over here the flaps. We can dig them out as you can see down here, all in these lovely aftermarket sets. Now as I said, you can either have it as a giant set or you can buy them as individuals. And after us looking at the kit uh, a few weeks ago, we looked at actually the actual BF109 G6 kit on its own and thought it was absolutely stunning. Now they have brought out the engine and they've brought out the cockpit for it as well. So we're gonna be reviewing the cockpit very, very soon. But for the moment, we're gonna have a look at the engine. So beautifully packaged for once. It's nice to see now that these kits have, you know, the care and the quality that goes into them. Unfortunately, they're always stuffed into sort of blister packs. And next thing you know, they will have rattling around and bits are falling off. These are nice solid boxes. Okay, so you can, you know, for your stash, stack them up, but definitely for transport, so much better than we've seen in the past. So opening up your box, I say it's the first time I've looked inside one of these. So you're literally seeing it as I am. Okay, we have a set of instructions okay folded up and put in there which is fair enough okay and then down in here sandwiched between two layers of foam we have all the said parts down here like this so if we just get these out and um, beautiful bits of foam uh, which we can use in a moment so if we just stick that down there pop that together okay so if we have a look at the instructions first usual thing with the Eddard stuff, as I always say with all of it, is that take your time, go through it, have a look at the kit, go through it, and then work out a plan of attack between your kit and your aftermarket bits. Because let's face it, the instructions sometimes, I'm not going to say all the times, but sometimes can lead you a merry dance and have you do things in the wrong way and perhaps make things a lot harder than it technically should be. Okay, so a little bit of forethought, a little bit of a couple of you know hours studying it, working it all out, will be a lot better for you. So anyway, these are done all in separate sheets. So starting down in here, we just reverse out that camera just a little bit. Okay, so down in here to start with, just a bit closer. Uh, we actually have the engine. Okay, so with the engine itself, as you can see, it's mainly one lump. We've got a couple of lifting brackets going onto it, which obviously are gonna be in photo etch and all the rest of it. Then we have got this front part, which is gonna be going in, which I think is the oil cooler. And then we've got a photo etch ring. So we have got some bending to actually make up uh, some of the parts. We've spoken about it a lot during this particular build. So if you wanted to go off, you can go off and have a look at it. Then we've got all the parts being added onto the engine, some of the hose work. Then we're coming in with the mounting brackets. We've got the um, super charger being fitted down there onto the side of the engine and some hosing a little bit of photo etch and various components being put in it just like that okay so then that's that one on and as i say like even their instructions are a little bit hard to follow the way they put them all out then it's over to stage uh, eight so down on here we've got some more of the hosing work the other engine mount going on obviously the front part and then that'll be the engine section done for the moment then it's moving on to the actual gun deck so you've got the upper part and then obviously we're talking about painting up the various parts that are down in here the wiring the aluminiums the flat blacks the gloss blacks and everything else going down in there both parts of it then we've actually got the gun system coming through the front bulkhead okay the sh ammo chutes um, and the little guy on there little aluminium part then onto the other side, literally we're talking about fitting the guns in. Okay, so the guns are going in. Then we got obviously more wiring, talking about obviously putting in your own wiring into this one. Some of the more photo etch parts and then putting that entire assembly for the actual engine to mount onto the sort of the gun deck and the bulk, bulkhead going in there. A couple more bits of photo etch, okay. Uh, okay. And then it's a case of putting in all the finer little details once it's all together, all right? So down in here, obviously we're talking about various parts going in, some more wiring um, and all the things. Uh, correct position for the actual hosing system running down the side of the engine, as you can imagine, to make it really pop and come to life. Because it's all this hosing detail really goes from being a block of resin to something that's almost alive, like we've done with our engine down on there. Okay, then it's talking about obviously where you're gonna have to be making your cuts. Now your cuts are just gonna be one of those things where measure, check, triple check, all of it, and make sure you've got it all right before you start coming in here. It's pretty straightforward because you're following panel lines and all the rest of it. 
but obviously just make sure you are uh, you know aware of how it's going to fit afterwards and all the bits and pieces like that so okay then it's going to be a case of them bringing it all together okay so then down in here as you can see it's talking about putting the front halves together obviously the plastic parts and the bits and pieces if you're going to it's actually quite a clever little marketing thing here. Will you be using the cockpit that's also available under blah, 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 probably. Okay, but it's talking about there. And then obviously you've got the kit parts, which we'll look at the moment with the aftermarket parts all showing it in one. Okay, then the final parts, that's right. Uh, as you can see down here, it's basically talking about mounting up that engine, drop fitting down into the actual uh, cockpit area and the forward fuselage. Once it's in, then you've obviously got the bars and all the bits and pieces going up there. We've got the side uh, of the exhaust going in and a few other little bits, and then obviously all the exhaust and the parts in there just like that. And then I assume on the back, which it is, it's a case of right, final parts going in. Again, a little bit more bending a photo edge, but this stuff all works. Make sure you do it, okay? Don't skip it because it gives great detail put in there. These resin doors are gonna be going on there, or you can use the kit doors, whichever ones you do. And then obviously, you'd be poking up some bars to hold them on. A Couple of decals, four of them, literally just going in, and you're done. So, the parts themselves, um, I suppose what we want to do is start with the engine because the engine is the the big one we're all going to want to see first okay so and there it is that is a beautiful if i just drop this camera push our luck a little bit more you can see absolutely stunning that is some of the best casting i've ever seen that is absolutely stunning like you know don't get me wrong the casting is good in 132nd but now we're in the 148th land that is absolutely beautifully done. Very, very nice, very exquisite, very nice indeed. Okay, right, where to begin? Okay, let's have a pop in this bag. Okay. I must admit, I was always frightened that these bits just running around the bag would all break off and all the rest of it. They don't seem to do it, it seems to be okay. So generally looking around, as you can see, hopefully you can see, uh, all of these parts are cast very, very nicely very cleanly. Also the thing is I like these days is that if you can see it's not just like a bar it's like pegs pointing up so cutting them off is so much easier than perhaps it used to be. Okay but all of these parts beautifully cast and the other thing as well I've seen to notice the resin seems more solid these days than it did in previous years. Um, it seems to have a lot more sort of rigidity to it, doesn't break as easy, um, is easier to work with and generally perhaps not as, as scary as it used to be now i don't know if it's me getting used to it or not but i'm not it uh it is getting better but again this is the difference the quality in this molding there's not a single bubble in it don't think for a minute this you're going to see air because these are all in vac chambers takes all the air out so there's no bubbles or anything left in it okay and they're cast extremely well but just generally the level of details on all sides very very nice so as you can see, beautifully cast parts on that one as well. Very, very nice right the way through. And then these other bits, again, very nice indeed. No problems with any of these. These are little bits that go for the on the side of the fuselage, okay? Just as we've got it here, we do have two types of uh, forward cowlings now. Just seeing, we've got slight differences between the two. That's the difference. So we've got slight different versions here. Very nice to get both in the box, as you can see. Again, this is that sort of lattice work we're saying, so it's easier to disconnect the part from the actual uh, area itself. But if you catch it in the light, I don't know if you can see, it's actually translucent. It is molded that thin, okay, which makes it very nice. But as you can see, the inside is more of a work of art in theory than the outside. Absolutely beautifully done. Again, really, really nice. Okay, and then We've got this little bag over here, which has got the mounting brackets. Again, this little bit of webbing in the middle, you'd whip out of the way, so you'd have no problem with that at all. There's your guns. Okay, so there's the machine guns for the top deck. No problem with that, that's really, really nice. And again, all the smaller parts beautifully cast. Uh, there's the chutes, these are the ammo drop chutes. Okay, and there's the plate bracket going to go run across the top, really nicely done. And then down in this bag, get it all out. we've got that gun deck area, which has got molded in wiring, very fine, very nicely done, no problem at all. This is that back bulkhead again with all that wiring molded in already. It's going to save you a lot of time and work. Okay, there's that oil cooler 
off the front again or the oil reservoir okay and again beautifully done there's obviously two types of top deck as well because we've got another one just down in here the exhausts again we've got a little bit of hollowization have i just made that word up probably but they're very nice slightly hollowed as well but because of the way they actually go and the shape they are very nicely done we've got both of those two of those there then again we've got supercharger on the side very nice indeed and some more of the smaller parts okay scoop that's beautifully cast that's really really nice extremely hollow right the way through okay and final parts just down on there we've also got not forgetting a tiny bit of photo etch so we've got a little photo etch sheet as well with the browsing down there which are going to make up some very nice little details and not forgetting decals i thought there was four so why have we got a sheet full okay all right okay so you can make up which is very nice it's only four decals but you can make up the numbering for the engine you want so if you know the actual engine you can put the engine titles in okay and then obviously do it just like that there we go so there we go these sets i have to say have taken the aftermarket to the next level not only in uh, what it actually gives you as in a beautifully detailed resin let's face it we've had that before but what we now get in the box is everything you need whereas before you might get an engine you might get uh, the guns you may get this now by buying these resin sets like this you get everything you need for that particular area including things like the doors all the bits and pieces the activators all the bits that you could ever need to really super detail your model i think these are probably the best that i've ever worked with after working with this particular set it goes together absolutely flawlessly the quality and the materials that they use the, the actual resin itself and all the other parts really shines through because it makes it a dream to actually work with so no more is it that thing of like you know oh it's resin it doesn't fit these fit these go in there exceptionally well so if you are wanting to upgrade your 109 this is actually the G6 version, but we also know they do the G5 as well. So we've got the different versions, the different cockpits, the different engine sets, gun decks, things like that, coming out for all the different marks of them. So it's really nice to see and definitely worth the upgrade.